station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground. I'm Sandra Jones. This week, a million-hour science milestone was reached on board the International Space Station. And we're using the flight of the Astro B robots to troubleshoot potential risk. The International Space Station is first and foremost an orbiting laboratory and has been continuously operated for over 21 years for just that reason. At any given time, there are two to 300 science experiments being conducted aboard the space station. We're able to house and operate so many experiments, largely thanks to 12 modular racks that provide power and other structures needed to operate in space. The Expedite the Processing of Experiments to the Space Station, or Express Racks, system reached a major milestone of 1 million hours of cumulative operating time this week. Now to put a million hours in perspective, that's over 114 years. And 114 years ago is five years after the Wright Brothers first powered flight, the birth of the aerospace industry. This million hour milestone would not have been possible without the dedication and vigilance of the crew, flight controllers, and engineering teams. What if you could identify the need to repair a potential problem with plenty of time to fix it? An investigation on the space station is looking into this by using robotics and sound. NASA astronaut Jessica Watkins conducted operations with the Astrobees related to SoundSea, which monitors the acoustic environment using an audio sensor on Astrobee. The system can detect anomalies in the sound of components inside a machine, providing autonomous monitoring of the health of infrastructure, such as life support and exercise equipment. On Earth, autonomous audio monitoring of the health of machines could be applied in a variety of settings, such as healthcare and infrastructure development. For many, the accessibility to a health facility is not a short car drive away. That's true for people living in remote areas on our planet and for crews aboard the International Space Station. A project on the space station called Advanced Diagnostic Ultrasound in Microgravity was created to see how to potentially diagnose medical conditions and injuries in space using ultrasound. We invite you to tune into the latest episode of Houston, We Have a Podcast, where we will be discussing how this project could not only impact the health of astronauts during long duration space missions in the future, but how it already has impacted people on Earth. And that's Space to Ground for this week. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week.